Hey folks, this is Greased Scotsman. This Miro SDK level authoring tutorial will help you add auditory flavor to your levels. The zone music and zone ambience components are zone link items that use the zone linking system to control what music and ambient sounds are played while the player is in a zone. Both components can handle typical Unity audio types like Wave, AUG, and MP3. If you follow the Miro SDK Getting Started video tutorial, you should have the external Bone Lab content palette added in the asset warehouse which includes the suite of the game's music and ambient sounds available as monodisc data cards. Monodiscs can be used in the zone music or zone ambience track field. Custom monodiscs that feature your own music or sounds can be added to your working palette by selecting the palette in the asset warehouse and then choosing add monodisc and filling out the fields. You can quickly create zone music or zone ambience objects by selecting a zone link and then opening the zone music and ambience utils foldout. The Connect Orphaned Child button is a Fix Broken Stuff button and shouldn't be needed unless a music or ambience component somehow loses its zone link reference. Note that the zone music and ambience objects are added as children to the zone link that controls them. By default, the zone music is set to only trigger once and will play on enter, meaning the music will kick off the very first time that you enter the zone, but subsequent zone entries will have no musical effect. You can ensure that the music track loops using the looping option. Hovering over any field in the zone music and ambience inspectors will provide additional information as tooltips and best practice suggestions for configuring that field. Keep in mind that if no other zone music is triggered and no zone music has a stop on enter or stop on exit enabled, then the most recently triggered zone music track will continue to play even if the activator, like the player, leaves the zone that actually started the music. The clip intro field and its monodisc equivalent, intro track, allow you to play an introductory clip that fires the first time the zone music is triggered, after which the clip main, or track, music will be played. If the zone music is set to loop, then the audio in the clip main or track fields will repeat. The clip intro audio, having already played on the initial triggering of the zone music, will not repeat. It is the best practice to set zone music items for every zone. If the same track is listed in other zones and the loop option is checked, but no play on enter or stop on enter or exit boxes are checked, the current music will continue to play without interruption. Keep in mind that trigger only once also applies to the stop on enter and stop on exit options. Zone ambience is slightly different from zone music. It is an audio effect that is usually designed to be looped and adds atmosphere to the level, but does not have a start or stop event. Think of it more as a background sound that adds flavor to your surroundings. To help enrich this sound, the reverb settings can be applied to the zone ambience component through audio reverb data. Several data templates that provide a wide range of soundscapes are available in the SDK, from the tight echoes of a small metallic space to a large concrete room. If none are suitable, then custom audio reverb data objects can be created using the assets menu with assets, create, stress level zero, and then audio reverb data. Note that the zone ambience's reverb settings make Unity's built-in reverb zones unnecessary and redundant. The two should not be used together. A few things to consider with zone ambience. The ambience will automatically loop forever, even after the activator, usually the player, leaves the triggering zone. That ambient track will continue until another zone ambience is triggered. Therefore, it is highly recommended to add ambience for all linked zones so you have control over what gets played. If you need the ambient audio to be silent, you can provide a valid ambient track, but then set its volume to zero. If you find the scene becoming busy with labels, the zone creation and linking overlay has several configuration options to customize what is shown in the scene view. Here's a quick demo of various zone music and ambience options in action.
The next installment of the Mero SDK level authoring tutorial series covers the zone events and zone load level components. See you in the void.